everybody welcome to my channel if you're new here my name is stephanie i am the opinionated horsewoman today i have a collaboration video in celebration of juneteenth which has just been named a federal holiday um so i am collaborating with alexis from oat modesty and we've been discussing this uh for a couple of weeks we just finished a Memorial Day collaboration just a few weeks ago, and as soon as that holiday passed, we started discussing actually just what we wanted to do for our next collaboration, and Alexis suggested uh, Juneteenth. Um, and, you know, obviously when we decided to do it, we had absolutely no idea that the uh, Congress was going to actually make it a federal holiday. Uh, who knew that, you know, people in politics might actually do the right thing once in a while. So um, I have um, already shot a little bit of film for this collaboration. So I should explain to you this first part. I'm just going to kind of go over with you guys very quickly the collaboration and a little bit about Juneteenth. And then I'm going to cut to something I've recorded a few days ago, which is unboxing some items for this collaboration. And then the final will be the final part. So before I get totally into it, let's talk about the collaboration. So in celebration of Juneteenth, we are doing a full face of makeup using um, makeup from black, uh, black women, really, um, cosmetics companies. So from our foundation to our eyeshadow, to our eyeliner, to our lipstick or gloss, we are going to be using products from black women owned or started brands. Um, and some that come to mind are uh, Juvia's Place, Colored Rain, um, Pat McGrath. Um, of course, we have Fenty, which is Rihanna. Um, so yeah, that is the plan. Okay, so... Um, let me just explain to you then what you're going to see in the next part will be, I'm going to be unboxing or opening some items that will become some of the makeup I will be using in this collaboration. And then of course the part three will be my final face of makeup, which I'm getting ready to do. I am out of the shower. I have a clean face, um, wet hair, <laughs> but I had to get all, uh, today's makeup and sunscreen off in order to, to do this video. So let's quickly go into what juneteenth is i've got my computer here um, so that i don't sound like a complete fool and forget something um, and basically juneteenth is to celebrate the end of slavery in the united states and you guys are probably already thinking you know oh it wasn't that when uh president lincoln did the emancipation proclamation in theory it was however there were several confederate and um states that were kind of holding out so this holiday actually originated in texas and specifically in galveston texas right along the coast um so what they're saying is that it has been celebrated annually on june 19th which is why it's called juneteenth um and of course, it's now been recognized as a federal holiday here in the United States, uh, signed into law uh, June 17th of this year, 2021, by President Joseph Biden. Um, so Juneteenth's commemoration is on the anniversary date of the June 19th, 1865 announcement of General Order Number 3 by Union Army General Gordon Granger proclaiming freedom for slaves in the state of texas and since then it has been a texas holiday and celebrated in texas annually and um it came about and got discussed to become a federal holiday of course basically in in light of everything that's gone on in the u.s for the past five to ten years obviously the black lives uh, matter movement has um kind of given it a lift and push in the federal realm of things so a quick thing that I'm going to go through that kind of gives you a little bit of background. President Abraham Lincoln did, you know, have the Emancipation Proclamation. That was in 1862. Uh, and it obviously officially outlawed slavery in the United States. However, uh, Texas and a few other states were rebelling against uh, the Union, the North, because uh, it was the Unions and the Confederates. Um, um, and the enforcement of the Emancip Emancipation Proclamation was really difficult um, for the Union Army for these more remote states, such as Texas. Um, 
Obviously, back in 1862, they did not have airplanes like we have now, nor did they have interstate highways. So getting Union troops into these far remote states was quite difficult. So um, basically, as I said earlier, General Order Number 3 by the Union Army General Gordon Granger finally ended slavery in the state of Texas. Um, so again, that was uh, June 19th of uh, 1865. So I'm just going to flip through and see. Um, obviously, as I mentioned, this was a Texas, very well known, very well celebrated Texas holiday. And it is expanded um, and was celebrated throughout the nation, um, not as a federal uh, holiday until now, but... Um, it became more commercialized in the 20s and 30s, 1920s and 30s, <laughs> um, offering center, off, often centering on a food festival. There are parades and other musical celebrations that happen. Um, let's see, during the civil rights movements of the 1960s, these celebrations were eclipsed by the struggle for post-war civil rights but grew again, the Juneteenth grew again in popularity in the 1970s, as it says here, with um, a focus on African-American freedom and African-American art. So it has continued to expand since then, as I mentioned. Obviously, Black Lives Matter definitely kind of has helped propel this uh, Texas holiday into the national forefront. And as I mentioned earlier, I was very surprised and um that a bunch of politicians on the federal level actually got together and passed this in both the house and the senate and sent it to president biden who did just sign it into law it is now a federal law um i think maybe the 11th federal holiday it's amazing so it's going to be an annual holiday um from here forward so as i mentioned um you know there's a lot of information there is a lot of information out there right now because this just happened we now have it as a federal holiday so i would encourage you to go out and learn more about this um holiday that i believe really wasn't known very well across the u.s it has now been kind of propelled out into the forefront of today's news so um today when you see this is juneteenth um so again we're doing our um, our collaboration. I'm going to be doing a face, um, just my makeup with um, all black women-owned cosmetics brands. So I'm really excited to do that. I thought long and hard about how to make this video. And I'm not going to be recording me doing my makeup because it takes way too long. And between me explaining this holiday, explaining the collaboration, unboxing the items and then if i were to add in my slow self trying to do makeup you guys this video would be ridiculously long so i'm going to cut out here and like i said the next footage you're going to see is me unboxing what i am going to be selecting from to do my makeup look and then after that you're going to see me coming back with a full face of makeup and i will go through exactly what i chose to use so uh, thank you for coming. Hang tight and we will be right back. This first part is I want to show you guys what first I want to explain to you a little bit about the collaboration and then show you uh, do basically do an unboxing. So Juneteenth, um, Alexis and I are going to do a makeup look utilizing makeup from uh, beauty companies or cosmetics companies that are owned by started by uh run by african-american black uh doesn't matter if they're from any part of the world but black women so and that's of course juneteenth so um we kind of talked back and forth and i have like a real spattering i don't have like a full face of really anything um specifically black owned cosmetics so i ordered from um i looked at two companies i was curious about i looked at juvia's place and i looked at colored rain so i chose to order from colored rain because juvia's place was out of uh some of the items i wanted so um i was a little nervous that i was going to get everything so 
Miss Alexis, the nicest, sweetest lady, actually also put a care package in the mail for me and I got both of them. So I wanted to show you what I have to choose from to do my makeup look, um, utilizing all cosmetics from uh, cosmetics companies um, owned and started by black women across the world. Okay, so let me show you what Alexis sent me. Um, and I might be missing one item, but I think because I've already unboxed it and was kind of playing with it. <laughs> so first thing she sent me was a Juvia's Place. This is a foundation. So, um, you know, she said, you know, she kind of guessed on my skin tone. It's impossible, I know. So I'm going to try this. I think it's close. It might be a little bit light for me in the summer, but, um, you know, uh, it's, I'm going to make it work. I think it'll be okay. So I'm eager to try this. I've never tried this company's foundation. Then she sent me a highlighter from Fenty. So I can't wait to you know, use this. Um, I do have a concealer stick from Fenty, so I'm gonna be grabbing that, probably utilizing that. And then, I, this is the palette I wanted, and when I was ordering, they were out of it on Juvia's Place. So this is a, ooh, I gotta be careful I don't drop the color saver, but the Purples, ooh, Purples palette. So that is one option. And finally, she sent me, she had gotten this for herself from, I believe Sephora, she said, and she hadn't utilized it yet. So sweet to send me this lip bundle. It's kind of like a little mini lip bundle from Pat McGrath Labs. So I have those items to start me off. Like I said, I think I'm missing one item. I had uh, kind of stuck these in my bathroom where all my makeup is, and I have a giant mess in there right now. I think I forgot to grab one other item, but uh, the next thing I want to show you guys is I got my box, my order from Colored Rain Cosmetics, and I just did a mystery box um, from them in the last not that long ago actually i really i got introduced to colored rain from i believe it was ipsy really liked i got given like a single um it was a gold like shimmer foil loved it you guys one of my absolute favorite favorite shimmers and about a year ago i dropped it and it like exploded into a million million fragments and i tried repressing it long story short is didn't happen so i was excited to do an order from them and i got it so they are also uh owned ran uh by uh, an african uh black woman uh so she's actually uh, a woman from the caribbean um so yeah uh well, let me show you guys so they were having a sale on some of their single shadows they were kind of getting rid of some of them you guys they had i was so excited they had a whole bunch of the shimmers i'm just going to quick run through these with you guys to be very quick because this video i don't want it to get too long because this is going to be a multi-part video <laughs> So they, yeah, had a really nice deal on these single. So I'm going to go ahead. I've got a Z palette. I can put these in. But these are, I think I chose mainly like foils and shimmers and metallic -y things. So then I ordered a palette. So this is it, guys. This is called the Queen of Hearts. So let me slide it out and show you. This is Colored Rain's Queen of Hearts. And let me see if there's a color saver there is let me just get that so it doesn't fall off there's a very nice mirror on here so let me but this is such a beautiful color story I thought this this is a great for me this is wonderful it's got matte shades and metallic shades it's so pretty um, there's a beautiful purple there called Queen Mother. There's some beautiful reds, some orange tones. There is the beautiful gold foil shimmer in the middle there called Her Majesty. So yeah, I'm excited, you guys. I haven't decided which um, palette will end up being the one I will use. I love purple, but this is also gonna be a lot of fun. So you guys will have to see what I did. But um, they also did send me a free small palette I wanted to show you guys. 
Um, I think it was like I hit a certain dollar amount. Um, this is fun. Let me see. This one is called Smoke Show Color Saver. It does have a mirror. And it's just a small palette called, again, Smoke Show. And that was free. So very nice, pretty, like neutral, very neutral palette. So yeah, I thought that was great. Very impressed with their company, you guys. They shipped so fast to me so really really thrilled so that's kind of an introduction to uh this portion of my collaboration video so stick around guys there's more coming so hang tight hey everybody i'm back this is the look i created my hair is still so very very wet i apologize but this is the look i created and i wanted to quickly go through and show you what products i used so first two items were this foundation that again alexis was so kind to send me from juvia's place and then i also had a um con a concealer stick from fenty which is rihanna and um i had this one i think i got this in boxycharm about a year ago and she sent this to me and you know she even said this might not work with your skin tone it's really hard to tell on obviously video and it is a little bit light and i definitely got it almost too light under the eyes with this fenty um this is just a little bit light it's summer you guys even though i got spf on i definitely have a little bit darker skin tone right now but i made it work right so i liked this you guys i liked the coverage on juvia's place uh this is bali 720 and i'll just show you guys on the back of my hand not bad not bad right i probably should just have left well enough alone and maybe not used the um, stick but really nice coverage as you can see pretty pretty good almost a full coverage i would say definitely more of a medium but almost could be considered full coverage so not a bad not a bad job on trying to match me alexis i really not a bad job so use those then um, I did have uh, this Fenty highlighter, Metal Moon, um, that Alexis also sent me. And you guys, I used it and I just, I don't see, I just used it up here and um, I don't, I don't really see a whole lot of sparkle or shine with it. So not sure this highlighter um, works really well on me, um, but I did use it up here and like I said, not sure that it worked for my skin tone so for my eyeshadows it was definitely a toss-up for me for using the colored rain palette or the juvia's place i did opt to go ahead because i love purples <laughs> um i did use juvia's place this palette i really like it this is the violets palette i'm just gonna take this shade saver off and show you guys again so i'm gonna show you really quick i actually set uh and i did use <laughs> A combination of the um, concealer and the foundation kind of as a base for my eye which isn't great but it worked so I actually set all that with this shade here and it actually looks darker it came off it comes off really nicely very very light lavender um, and I set my eye with that and then I started on um, my outer corner I kind of used a combination of this is actually a lighter shade than this on me so i did lighter and then i darkened up the corners with this one and then i did it a little touch of this almost black one down by my lash line and then i went in my inner corners with this and then right in the center of my lid i went in with that so pretty much used the entire palette really like these um, really nice formula absolutely no fallout very very nice love this palette of course i love purples guys so then i used i thought i had it here i don't know what i did with it well i had a mascara from pat mcgrath labs so my mascara is pat mcgrath and i wanted to go ahead and use some false lashes so y'all went went in with my girls my ladies the two sisters who run the glitz glam box have this line they do sell their lash line and these two ladies are two african-american sisters and so shout out to chanel and her sister oh you know what here's 
Okay, here's my Pat McGrath mascara. So, yeah, shout out to these ladies. And this one is, they're totally rad. I like these. <laughs> they're kind of, they're kind of wild. They're totally rad. Uh, so I did their glue-ons. They're not magnetic, so I did just use some glue. But, yep, these two ladies are sisters. They are African-American women uh, based out of the East Coast. They run the Glitz Glam Box. So I thought that was fun. And then this is a very bold lip, which is why I ended up kind of just, you know, playing it cool with some purples. This is a Pat McGrath lip bundle that you guys just saw me um, get from Alexis. So the liner is this right here. Uh, this is again Pat McGrath. So very bold, pretty color. And then it has like a little mini, adorable little mini bullet lipstick. And a very bold, very bold shade. So I'll swatch that. And it came out incredibly bold on me because obviously, like we said, the uh, foundation isn't exactly a match for me. Um, and then the Lip Trio came with this beautiful sparkly lip gloss shimmer, which I did dab on with my finger and I really like it. So I'll show it to you guys here. So much pretty, pretty shimmer. Isn't that nice? So, yep, that's what I topped the lippy off with. Um, yeah, I really like it, you guys. I really like all the products that I used. Like I said, it's kind of a shame. Not a perfect match, but, um, you know, unless you go in store, I don't know how you can do a perfect match. This, like I said, came about a year ago in Boxy, I believe, maybe Ipsy. And then Alexis did a really, I thought, a really pretty nice job of taking a guess on my skin shade. So um, I did go ahead and kind of do some highlighting um, with some, like a bronzing almost, to kind of darken it up. Um, and that was just with, I don't have a ton of bronzer. I don't really bronze a whole lot. I used like almost more of a blush. And it, of course, was not, um, as far as I'm aware of, a African-American or black woman owned um, or started cosmetic company. But I, I was looking a little pale, guys. So... Yeah, I'm, like I said, really happy with all these. A Juvia's Place, a couple items. We had Pat McGrath on the uh, mascara. Oh, and I did use this, you guys, to do my brows because I was like, I need something for my brows. So it was a little weird, but it worked. Um, especially this thing has a huge spoolie. I had to use a disposable spoolie, but it worked. So Pat McGrath is on my lashes and my lips. Uh, and then we had, like I said, Rihanna's Fenty Beauty was represented in two items. And then the ladies from the Glitz Glam Box, I'm wearing their lashes. So I really, really had a lot of fun doing this, you guys. Um, I do want to shout out Colored Rain Cosmetics. It is a black woman-owned uh, cosmetics company as well. And I did order, as you saw, a bunch of eyeshadow from them. I ordered a bunch of singles and then a palette. And then I did receive in, um, in with my order a free mini palette that I'm going to go ahead and do in this with a giveaway. So there is a giveaway in this video. I believe Alexis will have one as well. So um, I'm going to have a bunch of items in here, but I really want to focus because of this being Juneteenth on this brand this is colored rain and again this is a very nice neutral palette it's got a um, a mirror in there and the shade savers off but a very pretty six pan palette nice neutrals a little green in there um that is going to be in the giveaway so kind of want the attention on colored rain i'm going to go ahead and give some makeup wipes i have a couple of brushes out here and then I'm going to pull together a couple other items as well for you guys. Um, but I don't want to focus on all that. I really want to focus on this. <laughs> because we're doing this for Juneteenth. And this is a black woman owned and ran company. So that is my focus on this. So we'll start the giveaway today on Juneteenth. I'm going to go ahead and run it through the following, because that's this is a Saturday, the following Sunday. And I will go ahead and put that date um, either on the screen. Well, it'll be on the screen and in the description. Uh, it'll be um, cutting off at 6 p.m. Central Daylight Time for... Um, 
for entries, you will need to put a comment down below. I'll give you that and you'll need to use a word. I'm going to give it to you in a minute. You need to be publicly subscribed to both my channel and Ode Modesty, which is Alexis's channel. Okay, so make sure you go watch her video. And as soon as you're done here, make sure you're subscribed. You need to give this a like. Okay, this video a like. Click that thumbs up button. You'll need to give Alexis's video a like. Make sure you are subscribed to her. And your subscriptions need to be public. We need to make sure that we can verify you are publicly subscribed or a subscriber, okay? Because this is for our subscribers, those who support our channel. So if you are concerned that YouTube might unsubscribe you, go ahead and screenshot um, your subscription when you're watching our videos um, and then keep those. So if there's any question, you can show us that. But I have not run into a problem yet. The only problem I have run into is that people's subscriptions are not public and that's on you. I can't do anything about that neither. That's a setting in YouTube that you need to make sure you change so that they're public. So um, this will be open to anyone in the United States. Okay, that includes Alaska and Hawaii and Washington DC, District of Columbia. Uh, you'll need to have a valid US Postal Service mailing address because this will go through the Postal Service. Okay, um, and you need to be 18 years of age or older. The brands I have talked about today are not associated, affiliated, or otherwise with this channel. I have paid for all of this, uh, or Alexis has, <laughs> uh, with our own money. So uh, they did not, uh, these brands did not participate, but um, just want to shout them out as well um, for the holiday. So I will put all, all the rules down below in the description box on this video, you guys. Again, you need to leave now a comment on this video using the word Juneteenth for the holiday, okay? Leave it in a legible, uh, sensible sentence that makes sense. Don't just put the word in there. Uh, yeah. And I think that covers it. Like I said, check out, make sure you look at all the rules down below, guys. You are responsible for making sure you're following all of them, okay? Uh, if I missed a rule or something, it's down in the description. Those are the rules. <laughs> so thank you guys so much. I want to thank Alexis so much for coming up with this idea a couple weeks ago and for sending me the goodies that you guys saw me unbox. I loved it. I loved making um, an order from Colored Rain. It was a great excuse. It's a company I've been really wanting to get more items from. So don't forget, I will have a bunch of items in this giveaway, but I am focusing it on Colored Rain Cosmetics because they are a black woman owned company. And that is the purpose behind this collaboration. So thank you guys so much for watching this. Have a wonderful Juneteenth. Think about ways you can celebrate. Um, maybe there's um, parades going on in your area. Learn what you can about it, you guys. It's an important holiday. It is now a federal holiday here in the U.S., which is really amazing. So it's pretty awesome. And before I go, just wanted to say, you guys, if you are struggling, if you are having um you know some some thoughts in your head that are not so happy if you're feeling depressed feeling sad feeling lonely um just having some you know some struggles you know we're always here on youtube to listen to you remember you are a beautiful person you are an amazing person you are an important person okay and um uh, a lot of people are here and a lot of people love you. So don't ever forget that. If you need to talk, find a clergy person, find a friend, find a coworker, find a neighbor, come on YouTube here, talk to one of us, um, find professional help, your doctor, whatever, whatever works and makes you comfortable, you guys. But just remember you are beautiful and important and, um, yeah, don't ever forget that. So thanks, guys. Thank you so much for being patient through this video. I apologize for how long it is. I will do my best in editing to squeeze it on down. But have a great one, guys. I will see you on my next video. Bye, everybody.